The April 2019 update saw some major enhancements when it comes to dealing with lost sketch projections. In these two examples, I'll show you some ways to use it and why projections can get lost in the first place, starting with an uber simple example. Here I'll start a sketch where I'll leverage those handy sketch projections by hitting P on my keyboard. I'll pull off a couple entities, like the face on the left side and two edges on the right, where I'll use that long click select other to get the lower edge. And that's it for this sketch. Now, to cause those projections to get lost, we'll make a design change prior to the sketch, historically speaking. To do this, I'll roll back in the history and add a couple fillets. Not surprisingly, as I roll this forward, the sketch is showing me that yellow warning sign. Let's look into it. On the left feature, the projection is maintained. That's because the face was selected. And while the face may have shrunk slightly when the fillet was added, it's still a valid selection. This is important to remember as you use projections on faces going forward. On the right, however, the line is showing yellow, indicating a lost projection. To fix this, I'll right-click the sketch in the timeline and select to Manage Lost Projections. Here it'll show me a list of all lost projections and even enable me to fade the others. As I select the first entity, it'll do a fantastic job of highlighting where that edge previously stood. In this case, I offset the sketch to make it more clear. And this highlight will help me understand if or where I should reattach this, if possible. At this point, I have a decision to relink, break the link, or delete the entity altogether. I'll relink and select a corresponding edge to maintain my original design intent, which is simple in this case. The second entity, which falls in the exact same location, is just bad design practice. Lines on lines on lines can cause problems. So I'll delete that altogether. Now all is well. The warning is gone, and we can move on to another example. In this case, I'll do something similar. I'll roll back the history, make a semi-random change, and then check the fallout. With more history as this part clearly has, it's nice to deal with these problems a few at a time. So I'll roll it forward bit by bit. Here I found a warning, so let's fix it. This time I'll edit the sketch, which is a little more indirect than the previous method, but still allows me to access that managed loss projections from the right-click menu. What I want to note about this fix is that when I select the missing entity, it doesn't show me that yellow and red line separately, because they're right on top of each other. Instead, it intelligently shows me orange. Anyway, I'll relink this as I did in the past example, roll it forward, fix another, then roll it right to the end. The red error on the circular pattern means something entirely different. That's basically a showstopper. It means the feature is unable to be made. And although this isn't necessarily a loss projection, it's something we're showing a fix for. I'll edit the pattern and try changing from that optimized compute to the identical option. Doing that fixes that issue and a number that were previously present. If you see errors like we did here, start with the features earliest in the history. The downstream items may just resolve automatically. If you find this handy, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, or leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.